Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I know many of you are like me searching everywhere for the best reusable DIY face mask, and more importantly, the filter that goes with it. And today, I will show you the best one that I found. Best of all, I will show you some of the hacks to only use the materials and tools that are handy, so you can start making the mask and use it right away. So let's get into it. Here we have a DIY face mask, and the inventor, Dr. K. Kwong, calls it the HK mask. The design might look like a typical DIY face mask, but don't let that fool you. It is much, much more than that. Here is how it works. Open the mask, which works more like a pocket for the filter. Put the filter in, and make sure the corners are sticking out and you're done. As simple as it might sound, the key point is the filter corners must stick out to give the maximum coverage and seal, because the rim and edges are the weakest points and have the least amount of protection. The interesting part about XK Mask is that Dr. K. Kwong actually goes the distance and did many testing for different material as a filter. And in short, he indicated that you only need two kitchen paper towels to reach more than 90% BFE. In order to reach 90% of the BFE filtration, the kitchen papers must be orientated at a 90 degree. Depending on your kitchen paper size, you can cut one kitchen paper in two thirds and the other in one third. That way you will minimize the amount of excess paper. But for demo's sake, I will cut them in the correct orientation. After cutting the paper towel, stack them at the correct orientation and put it inside the mask. And make sure the four corners must be sticking out. On a side note, make sure you leave a little bit more space at the top because once you put it on, the mask actually gets stretched and it requires more room and length for the filter. So make sure you leave a little bit more room at the top to cover the entire area. Some of you are probably asking, what is better than two paper towels? Well, that's where the sterilization wrap comes in. What exactly is a sterilization wrap? They are actually made for packaging surgical instruments, which means A, they have to be 99.9% .9 BFE, B, water resistant. Well, I can't exactly test the BFE, but I can surely test out how water resistant it is. As you can see on the right, we have the sterilization wrap and I put a drop of of water on it. On the left, we have the kitchen paper and right away it absorbed the water. And even after a period of time, the water droplet still remains on top of the sterilization wrap, which proves that it is water resistant. In fact, many of the hospitals are using sterilization wrap to make disposable masks. We, however, are going to use it as a filter to save all the trouble. In case if you're wondering which wrap I'm using, the one I'm using is Halyard 800 15 inch by 15 inch. It is made in USA and it is a thinner wrap of the product series. The thicker one, such as the H600, is commonly used in hospital as a DIY mask. But we don't need it for our case. If you were to purchase the sterilization wrap, you don't have to get the exact brand. There are a lot of brands and thickness and sizes out there. Just as long as it is a sterilization wrap in double layers, then you're good to go. Putting in a sterilization wrap as a filter is easy. First, cut the wrap into quarters. 
measure and fold the split end to meet the height of the mask. Slip in the wrap into the pocket of the mask, leaving the sealed end on top and make sure the four corners are sticking out. With that out of the way, let's talk about how to make an HK mask. Making an HK mask is quite easy, but the hardest part right now is to source the material and tools, especially getting the water repellent coating fabric and a sewing machine. Let's talk about the tool first. If you have a sewing machine handy, great. For those who need to order, the handheld sewing machine might do the trick, but I highly recommend you just go with the traditional way using thread and needle to yield a better result. As to fabric, any cotton make fabric should do the trick. A t-shirt or even pillowcase or bed sheet should do wonder. The biggest headache is the front part. For the front facing fabric, we need water repelling fabric. It is hard to source at this very moment, but I figure let's use something else. In my testing, I used the 3M Scotch Guard. I have put three coatings onto a t shirt sleeve. As you can see, the one on the left with Scotch Guard is actually water repellent versus the one on the right, which absorbs the water. Just as a reminder, don't put on the mask right after you have applied the Scotch Guard. Give the coating a couple of hours to dry before you put on a new coating and before you put on the mask. To know how to make the HK mask, just check out the official video from So On Studio and download the fabric cutting pattern in the description below. But for me, when I first looked at the video, I was a little bit confused. So let me explain it a little better for you guys to understand it. First, for the pattern, you have to print out two copies, one for the front facing fabric and the other for the interior fabric. The front facing fabric follow the solid line and for the interior, follow the dotted line to cut them out. The rest of the procedures were quite self-explanatory in the tutorial video. If you're stuck at any point, make sure you email me or comment down below. Lastly, we must talk about washing the face mask. It is quite simple. You only need soap and water, rinse it, air dry, and iron it to sensitize it. By the way, don't throw the mask into the drying machine. Drying machine will cause the cotton to shrink and your mask will change shape so it won't fit as well. And if you're using the Scotch Guard spray, make sure you reapply them just in case the coating wears off. Last but not least, I'm giving away the HK mask, but I only have a very limited quantity. Unlike the 3D printed mask, the HK mask isn't made by me. It's actually my tailor who made it for me. And if there's enough people who sign up for it, I will consider asking my tailor to make more or to find someone to mass produce them so everyone can have one. If you want one and seriously need one, make sure you sign up in the link down below and I will include the sterilization wrapped with it so you don't have to go around searching for them. So there you have it guys. If you like the video, make sure you click on the like button. If you don't, the other button seems okay too. Share and let me know what you think about the HK mask. Have you encountered something better? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.